she took her arm right here on her by her elbow and pushed me against the window and hurt my spinal cord and then it bounced my head my top of my head bounced against the window Mobile County bus driver has been cleared of any wrongdoing following claims from several students that she assaulted them during a dispute over a cell phone. That's right. Mobile County Sheriff investigators say they reviewed surveillance video from that bus. Tonight they're saying the girls may now be facing charges. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez joins us now live in the studio with an update. Andrew, what did this video show? Well, Bob Lanise, authorities say this bus driver was trying to deal with some very rowdy students on her bus. She's 69 years old, and authorities confirmed that the most violent part of this video was a light tug of war over a book bag. Investigators say the students may now be charged with filing a false report. Yesterday, we introduced you to sisters Haley and Tammy Stapleton, the pair claiming they were assaulted by their bus driver on Monday after school. Some time has passed. Investigators have been working on the case. Today, officials decided they weren't buying it. After reviewing all the evidence, it was apparent that uh, what the children say in this case just wasn't reflected by the evidence. Officials say much of the dispute was caught on audio and video. Video shows the bus driver repeatedly asking the girl to get off her phone, which is against policy. Stapleton's mother said she was on the other line the entire time. And she says, well, give me that phone. She says, no, ma'am, I cannot because my mom told me not to, and I did. I told her not to. The driver pulled over, and Haley claims that's when things turned violent. Took her arm right here on her by her elbow and pushed me against the window and hurt my spinal cord and then it bounced my head my top of my head bounced against the window the way she held it she held it real tight and it yanked for and yanked back and it felt like it popped but video captured a very different story the driver is seen trying to get the phone and lightly pulling at the girl's backpack instead of a shove or a push video shows she gently moved Haley's sister aside trying to stop students from leaving the bus and getting rowdier <laughs> We reached out to the Stapletons for their reaction today, but no luck. Authorities say the girls are still on the hook. If anything, at this point, our detectives are continuing the investigation into possibly charging these juveniles with false reporting. Yeah, that's serious stuff. Now, these students, they go to Mary Jim Montgomery High. Stapleton's mother says she did take the girls to Spring Hill Medical Center where they got the bandages and the crutches. Authorities, though, believe that it may have happened when the girls escaped the bus at a stop that wasn't theirs to begin with.